Hi everyone! Welcome to my channel. If you haven't been here before, my name is Monica and I do beauty videos. So, the last few months, well, yeah, like the last few months have been pretty crazy. If you live in this world, you will know that we have been shut down pretty much for like the last almost two months now since March. I live here in Miami, Florida, so Although Florida, uh, I think they opened up last week in general. They didn't open Palm Beach County, Miami-Dade County, or Broward County. So we're still shut down, meaning all beauty stores, salons, non-essential businesses are still closed. So myself, like many other women, have been struggling to keep up with our beauty routines. Not routines, our beauty um, practices. You know what I'm trying to say. Basically, I haven't gotten my nails done in months. I am a nail biter, so they look very, very bad right now. So I decided to start looking online to see what I can do because I paint my nails at home, but like I I have gel, but it, I don't have a lot of options. So I bought this like polish to gel um, nail polish that you put after you put your nail polish, you put it on, then you cure it in like a little machine like this one, and it turns to a gel. But a lot of times it still doesn't dry underneath so it still slides around i end up wasting so much time for nothing i wanted to find something that i could do at home that wasn't super expensive and that was easy since i've also tried acrylic nail kits from the stores and those can be pretty difficult especially for someone who's never done acrylics like myself that whole rant um was to basically introduce the product i'm going to be talking about today which is this model one's um poly gel extension builder kit when i was researching on google i found some youtube videos and i saw uh, a channel by the name of long hair pretty nails reviewing an at-home nail kit so when i watched the video she was using a kit from the same brand that she bought on Amazon which is also where I bought this one it looked like it was really good it looked like it was really easy although she I'm thinking that she's a professional probably because um I mean in her name she has nails so I'm assuming she does more nail videos and when I looked at the reviews for this kit on Amazon I did see that people were saying that it's a lot easier than a regular acrylic kit so I'm like why not so this was $60 okay not the cheapest kit, I know, but it comes with a lot of stuff. This is what it looks like when you open her up. Let me remove this really quick. Uh, you get these plastic forms, which are the curved ones, the normal ones that you'd get, like, at a store or whatever. And then you get this uh, free, like, flat one, so they're not curved, they're flat. It comes with 36 pieces. The curved ones comes with... 120 pieces so you have options which is really nice of them but you also get these six colors which is going to be like the base for the nail the base color so i don't know if you guys ever seen those like videos where they kind of just make the acrylic nail but instead of like being a regular clear it's colored that's what this looks like we're also going to get a base coat a top coat and this um slip solution which will come in handy later. If you don't know what the slip solution is, that's fine. I'm gonna read the instructions anyways before I start trying to do the nails. It also comes with this blue glitter, this purple like kit of like gemstones, a nail file, which actually looks pretty good. It looks like this other one I have right here, which is pretty good. And then it comes with this cute tool. So this is the brush and picker. You just open the tube like that. Out comes the tool. On one side, you have a brush, which is going to be to actually apply the um, the color, the poly gel, whatever. The other side is this, which you're going to use to pick up the product. So again, maybe my description isn't that good, but we're going to see in a second what the process actually looks like. Also included, we have this little card here that says need help. So on the back, it says if you have a peeling problem with the nails or if it's too sticky, it gives you some tips along with some YouTube video links, which I think is super, super helpful and above and beyond customer service, I think. You can even scan it so you don't have to type it in manually. Um, and then it also has their email for any service, any questions you might need. So I think that's nice. And then we have the instructions. So this is the instructions. This is the back of the instructions 
so one thing that i did see when i was researching is that it's so so important to make sure your nail is properly prepped before using this product i'm sorry my lashes look so weird i only did my makeup for this video anyways so if your nails are not prepared correctly then it's going to make it easier for the nail to just pop off kind of like with the glue on nails which is not what i want because if i wanted that i would just buy the glue on nails which i hate by the way because they never last on me at least so to prep the nail they recommend a uh, step one you trim your nail and clean the surrounding nail plate of any excess cuticle the second step would be to file the nail surface and remove the shine from it so i'm guessing like buffing it um, the third step is to clean the nail and remove all dust so i'm gonna do that first um where are my tools okay here they are so my nails are disgusting i'm just going to push the cuticle back and whatever I'm actually just going to try to point the camera down here so you can just see my nail. You no longer will see my face, you're going to see my nails. So let me go do that. Alrighty, so here are my little nails. Um, Please don't judge me, they're literal nubs and like I said, I am a huge nail biter. So I have this tool here, it's technically not a cuticle pushing tool. This is actually to remove gel nails, um, so you just put it underneath and you peel it off. But I like to use it for my cuticles because I like the shape and I think they're a lot stronger than like the wooden ones or the plastic ones you get like at the beauty store. So I use this. I'm just gonna push my nail, my cuticle, sorry, back. Also, I just want to say I am not a professional whatsoever. I did a few years ago. I was really into nail art. However, I never did the research how to properly prep a nail or, you know, any cleaning. So this is, I mean, this is just how I'm going to do it. But if you would like to also do this, I suggest you do that extra research because i don't want to be responsible if anyone gets like an infection or something or i don't know anything <laughs> so that's just my little disclaimer i'm not a professional whatsoever i am just a beauty enthusiast who wants nice looking nails perfect so i already um pushed back the cuticle i did make myself bleed so just make sure that you're doing it carefully and that you know what you're doing I don't know what I'm doing. On to step two. We're gonna follow the nail surface and remove the shine from it. And then clean the nail and remove all dust. I'm gonna take my other nail file just to follow the sides of it. I don't remember what the name of this process is, but the purpose of it is if you wanna like file more like here, for example, it's not gonna cut you because it won't be as sharp, but I don't remember what the process is, but you literally just do like this. Great. I'm going to file the surface of my nail. Because see, if I'm doing it like this, it would just cut me. But now because I just did what I did, I have less chance of being cut. If any chance at all. Okay. So after I'm done doing this, what I'm going to do is clean the nail and remove the dust so i just have this brush here this is a powder brush from elf it was like one two dollars so i'm just gonna use that to kind of do what they do in the salons and get rid of the dust now the next thing we're doing is now the poly nail gel application now the first step is to apply the base coat that the product comes with this base coat right here but i'm actually gonna put a primer first which what this is gonna do is just dry my nail even more that way it sticks even better and i did see i believe i did see in her video in um long hair pretty nails video which is where i found the model ones i'm pretty sure i saw that she also recommended putting a primer I could just be remembering wrong and you can see that it just dries the nail pretty pretty quickly 
Again, the instructions do not say to do this. This is just an extra step that I'm doing because I think it'll help my nails. And I'm actually trying to do a good job with these. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to put the gel on my nail and I'm going to use this little UV lamp I have from also Sensation Nail, the same brand as the primer, um, to cure my gel, my base coat. So you're going to put a thin layer of base coat on the nail, just a thin layer. I'm going to put it in for 60 seconds. Now this one will turn off automatically after 60 seconds. You're going to hear a beep halfway through. Step two is to squeeze the desired amount of poly nail gel out of the tube. So what tube am I talking about? I'm talking about these tubes, the one that have the color. Now I'm going to show now on a little piece of paper. I'm going to take out a little bit of each tube so you can see all the different colors. So as shown earlier, there are six colors in total that the kit comes with. It comes with a pure white. Next color is a soft pink. Oh, that's pretty. A light pink. So we have soft pink and then light pink. I'm sorry, my swatches of these are terrible. I'm trying my best. This one is called Light Apricot. This one is called Nude. Oh, and this one is a temperature changing color. So from what I understand, when it's cold, it'll be this color. And I think when it's warm, it'll be white. So I'm just gonna cure this underneath the lamp and see how they turn out. This is what they look like once they're all cured. So I was right, it did turn into like this clear white, but obviously the pure white is pure white and this is just like a clear color. So I think I'm gonna go for this one, the nude color. I'm just picking my dual form right now, the sizes, and then I will be right back. So basically, you're gonna take the dual form. You're gonna take your little spatula. I'm gonna actually undo both sides because I'm gonna need this in a second. You're gonna take your spatula and you're going to get a little bit of the, the gel that you want. So they say depending on how long you're gonna make your nail, that's how much you should use. So you're going to put this down here oh. you're gonna put it down here just slide it in and you're gonna take your brush you're gonna put it in the slip solution i put it in the cap and you want to make sure it's not too wet or too dry so i'm just gonna pat it a little bit and you just lightly pat it i think it's a little too sticky so i'm gonna put a little more Okay, you're gonna lightly pat it and just do the little form. Okay, it's pretty easy so far. Unlike acrylic, this doesn't really like seem to dry as fast. I don't know if you ever try to put on acrylic nails, but when the actual acrylic powder, as soon as it gets out, it feels like it dries so fast. I'm gonna actually put a little more. Again, I'm just gonna pat that in. I want it to be on all edges. I'm kind of missing this right edge here, so I need to move that a little more there. I think that this length will be perfect for me, so I'm not gonna put more. If you want a longer nail, then you put more. But I really don't like them super, super long, so I'm not gonna put it super, super long. 
I'm just gonna continue to pat it till it's a little more even. Yeah, it's not the easiest thing in the world, but I do think that with a little bit of practice, I'll get a little better at it. You guys should see how my, my shoulders are right now. I look like a goblin. The way they're just hunched. So now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna apply this to my pinky. Just gently apply it to my pinky. Okay. Okay, so it says to remove any excess product. Now I'm gonna cure both sides of the nail. 60 seconds on the top and 30 seconds on the back. I just do want to apologize just for like how everything looks. I'm trying my best. My equipment isn't the best for this kind of video, but I'm trying. So now that that's fully cured, I'm going to remove this. I have to do it pretty gently. I'm just pressing the sides. Oh God, it feels kind of scary. Jeez. Okay, so these are not reusable, so that goes to the side. That one, it looks like it's pretty hard. So now I'm basically just gonna take a, um, a tissue and just wipe both sides with a slip solution to remove the sticky layer. So obviously it needs a little bit of cleanup, but look how smooth it looks. It actually looks really good for my first time. Also, I read online that uh, the, it's better if you make the, the tip a little thinner than the base just because it'll look better aesthetically and it'll also be easier to shape. So the next step after doing this would be to file it. So I'm gonna file it to the shape that I want, which is more of a coffin. It's already almost coffin basically. So I'm just gonna file it a little bit on the sides. So it says also, you just wanna like lightly file the surface of the nail. I'm not sure why, it just says to do that. Now I'm going to apply the gel top coat and cure it under my LED lamp for 60 seconds. So let me just do that. Actually before, I'll just wipe some powder off this brush. Okay, I'm trying not to put a super thick layer. Also, you can paint it after this with whatever nail polish you want. I'm just going to leave it this color because I like this color and I do not feel like painting right now. It's actually midnight when I'm doing this video. So I don't feel like painting it at midnight. Alrighty. This is my cured nail. It feels pretty strong. Um, I still don't know if I would want to like do things like wash dishes with her or anything, but I will update on how it's doing. If you follow me on my Instagram page, it's going to be in the description box and I will update there how the nail is doing. I do see actually now that I'm looking at it, this little spacing here is a little bit crack. It's probably, probably it's my fault, but yeah, that's there. So you know, other side, not really. Um, but I think it came out pretty good, honestly. All right, so we are back to my face. So here's the pinky again, the rest of my nails. Ugh. But there it is. I'm not gonna bore you and do like all of my nails on um, while filming. So I'm just gonna pop back in once all of these are done. Maybe these two. I'll pop back in when both of them are done. And I will do the outro for this video. So yeah, see you in a second. Hi, I'm back. 
So I finished both of my hands. This one honestly came out better. This is the first hand I did the left hand. I think it came out a lot better than the second hand, especially if you look at these two nails. There's a difference. This one's definitely more lifted. Overall, I really, really do like this product. I think it's easy to use overall. I think that my mistakes were my fault and definitely not the fault of the product and for $60 everything you get it's a really good deal it has a little bit of a learning curve so it's definitely something you need to play around with a little bit more and take your time currently it is 2 about 2 20 a.m so this has taken me a few hours and I still made this one trash definitely this is not something that you should do in a rush or like me start at 11 something p.m and now it's 2 20 a.m so yeah that that's what i will say about that but overall very easy to use i love the instructions in the kit if you want to look at it again i put everything back oh i put everything back how it was when i got it but yeah so i'm gonna put the link to the product in the description box below um it's Again, it costs $60 on Amazon. That's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. If you'd like to see me try out any other products that you might be curious about, but you're too scared to try it for whatever reason, let me know. I will be happy to do so if I can. And again, thank you so much for watching. I'll list my other socials in my description box so you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, everywhere. And I hope that you guys have a fantastic rest of your day and I'll see you later. Bye.